Okay. Yay! It looks like we are live on Facebook. Hey, hey. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. How are you? Thank you so much for meeting me all the way from Switzerland. Yes, thank you so much. I mean, that's just so cool that we can we can connect in this way. I love it every time I'm amazed. You know, when I met my husband 20 years ago, there was no Skype, no Facebook, no social media, just email and phone calls. And it, it cost a fortune. And now we can just have yeah, and stream life. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, it's, it's the best thing. I absolutely love it. Um, awesome. Well, so today we are going to be talking about your new book that launched. Congratulations. So exciting. Thank you. Here it is. Yes. Let's see your gorgeous book. The Joy Compass. So good. And I noticed, I just noticed, I mean, I, I kind of noticed it before, but I started going through the, uh, the pages and there's a man version and a woman version. And I, and I, I started noticing the difference in the language. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I was like, I love, I love it. Yeah, what made you want to do both? Because that's a lot more work that you that you had to do. Yeah, I I you know, I love to work with men in coaching, and I I I described that in the book. I lived with four guys in a shared apartment during my university time, and I just love this in your face language, like no, not complicated, you know, like bam, bam, bam. And then yes. if you're angry, you're angry. And five minutes later, it's all good and nothing complicated. I, I just loved this easygoing wipe. And um, yeah, I think men, you know, like self-help, the self-help section of a bookshop is like, ooh, that's, <laughs> I, yeah. they wouldn't go there or the, the man I, I want to talk to they they would not go there so my trick or my sneak sneak <laughs> approach is that you as a woman buy this and then I even have a different color cover you can download on my website and stick it over if your man would never ever read the pinky pinky <laughs> book pinky. and then it's right in the beginning you know the man version is right in the start so that's it's not complicated, you know. It has to be easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So and good. then, I mean, my dream is that a couple is like she's reading it, and then she thinks like he should read it. But if it's just for women, it's it's I don't know. Maybe it's so cliche or even considered sexist that I think the language is so different, but. Like, hey man, can you please do this journaling exercise now? Just do it, okay? And in the in the female part, I don't I don't yell at you because it's not necessary. I just tell you <laughs> what 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 I would do, and you can choose yourself. So I I a lot of men read it already and they really liked it. So I'm glad. Yay, that's good news. Um, yeah, I'm very curious how this will go and the stories I will hear. And uh, I mean, my goal is that you really think you read this book and you're you're going all in like, yes, I want to create the life I really want. And no compromises and mediocreness until you die. Like, let's let's make yeah. the best out of this life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so crazy. Some people like they'll wait till retirement until they have fun. I know when I was in college, I, I had this uh, friend and he was an older friend who's kind of a mentor. And he was t saying, you know, he works so hard because he wants to retire lavishly and he ended up having a heart attack and died. And I'm like, well, there goes your living lavish and having, you know, a great life because you were, you were trying to wait. Um, so what do you think, um, what's like your biggest, uh, so I was part of the book launch team, everyone. So I'm super excited. So I read the book. I listened to the audio. Um, I absolutely loved it. I think if you want to find joy and like a roadmap to joy, like this is the way to do it. You put it together in, in great steps, the questions, the journaling prompts, and they're just spot on to really Thank what you need. Thank you. But yeah, this means a lot to me. You really, Terry, that's like, wow, that's the greatest compliment. Thank you so yeah, much. Because people don't think about these and we're not really taught in school, you know, all of these. Yes. Concepts. And, and yeah. so it's like you, you have to like go outside of, you know, like the, the norm to find a way to, you know, be happy when happiness really should just be the way we walk, you know, but it's, and it's like the joy compass because it's not like, oh, when you get there to this exact destination, but it's just like, 
in all the ways you're moving and doing life. And right now you can just embody joy. So I just loved it. But what was your favorite part about the book? Your favorite part about doing the book, like some aha or epiphanies that came out of it? Yeah, it's, I, I told you previously, like I, I was in a course called self-publishing school and the best trick for everybody listening who wants to write a book is you are not allowed to read the previous chapter you already have written you're just just write it all out and then you can you know like sort things so like actually having it now in my hand it's so surreal like oh finally i was talking of that so so many times and of course you could write a better book you know and correct it and just like just do it just do it like and that's i think something for for daily life to just do it do it do it this way today and maybe tomorrow you learned a better approach already then you can do it differently but don't wait until you try something or you change something because well that's not good enough or i'm not good enough just mm. go go with your ideas and your inspiration and and life is fun now but you know i'm, I'm talking about the vision as a as a lighthouse in the future you can enjoy your life now but you can have big dreams it's not one or the other you don't like hustle 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 until you die and you don't reach any how your your vision that's that's not worth it so kind of this balance and you have the compass inside of you that's my biggest message like you don't need anybody else than you to tell you what you really want and and finding it out from the inside out not from the outside like you should you should you should this would be a smart move no, maybe I don't want to do that because it's not mine. It's not my path to go that way. I want to go this way. Yeah. And so many people, you know, they feel like they have to do it this way. This is what society does. This is what my parents want me to do or my partner. So I think it's so important. What would you say? And this is a huge thing that I've I've had to deal with myself. And I know some of the clients I have deal with it because you're, you're, you know, wanting to think of the future and then, you know, to also be present in the moment and gratitude, grateful for the moment while, you know, having that big vision. But um, yeah, like I'd love to just learn maybe like just some, um, I don't know, deep dives or even some questions into the book about the big vision and still being happy in the moment. Yeah, one, one tool I really love and I use daily is the future self like image and, the, and I have a book bonus page um, with all the meditations on there to sneak around and try them. And, and, and I, I recorded several versions and they are mentioned in the book, like the, the basic one and then the, the bit advanced one, if you never ever me have meditated. So if you create your future self in your mind, you can talk to her in your mind. And I know that sounds crazy or like a little bit, <laughs> oh, come on, that's that's just too much. But I love these tools because they're free. You don't have to tell anybody and they make you feel better. So if your future self is like super rich or slimmer than you or, or fitter or whatever, you can tell her like, what do you do now? What would you do? And and that's that's kind of, it's not somebody else telling you, it's your best version of your future self having an advice for you or just telling you like, chill, no worries, everything will work out for you. Yeah. I love this. And and um, I hope I can talk people into, into this, especially men, because like, who would do that? <laughs> but you know, I have one co coaching client yeah, he was amazed by like, can it be this easy? I said, yeah, why not? You know, like just these meditations made him realize how awesome he is. And that's, that's, that's so cool to feel like I'm good now. I'm, I'm enough. I don't have to change or, or uh, like achieve something so that I get credit from anybody. I can enjoy life and myself now what do I want next step and next step and in 10 years and the vision part is is all about the wheel of life I mean that's a, a super simple concept too that you you break down your life in different areas not just like what do you want in life it's like what do I want how do I want to live how how does my do I like colorful walls like here <laughs> yeah, pink here and gold over there or do I like like minimalism and and that might change over the decades of your life.
but like make your life now amazing as amazing as possible and i think if even if you live in a very tiny place or like you can make it beautiful and and if you want if that's important to you you don't have to do anything you don't want and that's just so different than what you, we learn in school and that's why you should shake up that that um, that system a little bit <laughs> Wait, yeah <laughs> Oh my God, that's so good. So I feel like, um, yeah, I didn't really do a great job of introducing you. So you're an author, but you're so much more than an author. Um, you are, you have your own academy for coaching um, and your business. So please share a little bit more about um, the work you're doing in the world today. So my, my main offer now is my Joy Academy and it's a year long program because change can happen overnight, but the the overall change, like the habits and the mindset, it needs time. Or I think it's easier for us if we give us time and don't expect like us being perfect in one week or six weeks. So I decided to have this program over the whole year. And um, yeah, it's kind of the same topics than in the book. It's about the vision and then decluttering is such a, I mean, since Marie Kondo is on the market, everybody knows about decluttering, but um, that's not her. She didn't invent it that, but it's just like the concept. I love that as she asks, does it spark joy that you, you gift yourself a surrounding where you look at every item and it's like, yeah, everything around me brings me joy how awesome is that and not the cupboard of your aunt you hate and the, the ways you had to keep because it was expected of you no that's your living space you are yeah that's that's your right to have to have a, a, a surrounding you love so there are master classes in the joy academy and and you can deep dive in all these topics with email challenges afterwards and it's a beautiful community and everybody is in their own pace and I love that I I like to decide myself you know like nobody <laughs> has to tell me what to do I'm a stubborn <laughs> stubborn toddler <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah that's how I I built that up and then I do private coaching and I love speaking on stage and at the moment that's just like not so much happening, but I hope that will come back yeah. some days. Yeah, I, I really, you know, my, my whole business started actually when I was 17 or that was my, my, my breakthrough moment. Um, when, when I was standing at the open grave of a friend with 17, I mean, even now I'm 43 now and a lot of my friends never lost a a dear person besides their grandparents maybe or maybe they're still alive but if you at 17 realize like oh wow this life is not forever so it the urgency in a good way starts to to build up and then unfortunately i was at so many funerals over over years really like oh another avalanche bike accident and then after 10 years, my sister's best friend died because of a heart attack and she was 25. And there I was like, really like, I mean, I changed my life within these 10 years extremely already, but then it was like, okay, I spend time with people I love and I want to spend time with. I don't go to parties I don't want to go. Um, if I say yes, I mean yes. And if I say no, I mean no. And that's so funny even in my business you know a coaching client realized that she has an appointment with me at my daughter's birthday so she had this, this whole thought process like oh I should suggest her to postpone my appointment because it's Mika's birthday and then she thought no but Ronia wouldn't agree on an appointment if it would not be okay for her so oh yeah so I don't have to suggest that to her because she only does what she wants like it's such a relief for people around you if they know when Terry yeah. says no she means no you, you don't have to ask again but if she yeah. says yes it means totally yes and you don't have to overthink it is it okay for her or something like that no it's yes and yeah it's and so good I love it. I love the concept. It's, it's getting easier, but it's kind of like 
people are offended sometimes, you know, and that has to be okay with you. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm just very clear what I want and what I don't want. Yeah. You know, and that, that, I actually did a live about this the other day too, but like keeping your word to yourself will bring you joy because then you know that you, you do what you say and then you feel accomplished and you feel good about yourself. Other people around you know that you're someone that they can count on. And then it's not like you're going so much like, oh, do I really feel like this or not? You're like, no, like I keep my word and I enjoy keeping my word. And that brings, you know, accomplishment and, you know, feelings of pride and meaning for me. So yeah, I just, it was funny. I heard this quote, it was saying, when you schedule your life, you have more freedom, which it sounds like, so like, what are you talking about? But it's like, yeah, when you have that like structure, you know, like, okay, I'm going to work this long. I'm going to do this at this time. And then, you know, so then you have, then you can enjoy and be present in the times you're there. Not like, I'm on vacation. I should be working. I'm working and I want to take a vacation. And it's like, you, you I'm not good like, at that yet. So yeah. um, give me yeah. some of this magic. <laughs> yeah no but I just yeah no it's so funny because I just yeah just talking to you kind of brought that up and you also mentioned so the the cluttering on the outside has definitely been life-changing for me like decluttering because then it's only what brings you joy and then all those things that are in the way like you know and even just dusting and cleaning and clearing has just really been life-changing for me um but then you talk about decluttering on the inside as well so I want to um, go into that a little bit yeah I mean it's a bit um I mean, that's not a psychologist term, you know, the clutter on the inside, but it means that you get rid of the, the things which are not serving you. And that's, that's, I think starting at the outside is easier to, even if you have an item in your hand, you know, like from an ex-boyfriend and you're still keeping it, like it steers up things. So when the outside is clear, you can work on the inside and, and just kick out limiting beliefs and and habits you wanted to change for ages but then you really decide like now i don't do that anymore because it's not serving me and and i talk about that in the book like if you don't want to change a habit just don't change it because you you will fail anyway but you know this moment where you really like now it's i'm done like i'm i don't hold my phone in my bed the whole night and scroll around meaninglessly I charge it in the kitchen and that's my new promise to myself to nobody else and you can break this this contract anytime because it's not a contract it's just yeah you you promise it to yourself so as you said before um, keeping your word to yourself too is, is a very good feeling so then you can just play around with how do you want to 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 change your habits so that you you have more freedom more it's like stress is gone because you don't say yes all the time and then limiting beliefs or even like reactions to to situations to circumstances you know when when you have the chocolate powder box and it falls down in your kitchen and it's just chocolate powder everywhere you can freak out and lose lose everything or you can say like, oh, wow, well, I just get the, the vacuum for, for, for cleaning it up. Yeah. And you don't have to be the perfect human and calm all the time. But it's so interesting when you work on the inside and declutter things that it, you, you realize the difference. Like, oh, wow, 10 years ago, I would have freaked out and like cursed the whole morning and and now yeah. I'm just like cleaning it up and it's no, no worry. No, no, no reaction. Yeah. Oh, and that's yeah. like an accomplishment in the, in the daily life. Also, if your kids are, are spilling over, like you can freak out or you can just clean it up and, and everything changing in the inside has an impact on the outside. Things get easier, like easy going, or like you're, you're relaxed and, because you're relaxed or more joyful, other people react differently to you and, and you get invited to I, whatever. It's just like if you work on yourself, success and joy is just, just following you and, and it's worth, it's worth the, the work. It's, it's work and it's not easy or fun all the time, yeah. but then you can leave it aside for a while and, and dig in again and and have a conversation with your amazing future self about it or like yeah you can play with it it's not i mean if you need help like you need a pro you know a psychologist or or, or really a therapist but if you're like 
it's all good, but well, well, well then you can really, really yeah. Yeah. change so much on your own with books or courses or coaching or, or yeah, like in the Joy Academy, the results are amazing. And, and in the end, it's just like you realizing I'm pretty amazing. I like myself. If you get to this state without like being like, I'm amazing, you know, like the annoying, the annoying, um, in my eyes, fake confidence. Most of yeah. these people are not so confident at all. But if you really feel it bubbling up from the inside, like I'm feeling good being me, then you, you, win life you can you're invincible and that's such a cool 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 feeling yeah those are such good concepts you brought up all of them and yeah you were saying like you know it becomes you also like talk about habits and I think it becomes a habit when you start responding you know instead of like as your best self instead of reacting you know from a place of I don't know fear panic you know anxiety but yeah like you know you're like you just kind of ground yourself and calm yourself and then you can it just starts to become a habit where you're like okay something's going to go on around me and you know, inside I'm okay. And I'm going to take care of it in a way that my future self would, you know, best take care of this or, you know, my future self now, like as you do the habit, it becomes your, who you are, it just it kind of becomes a new paradigm. So I know we, me and you met at Brendan Prichard's conference like years ago now, and he has the high performance habits. And um, I think it was Experts Academy where we met. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Time just flies yeah. by. And I love seeing all your accomplishments and everything you've done. And it's so great to like stay in touch. So that's just been super fun. But what do you what what, what do you have in here about habits? So uh, what are some of the things that you think is really important habitually that we should do for our happiness? What I also talk in the book is, you know, I watched uh, I watched the 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 queer eye queer eye show. You you know the the five. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I might watch it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And I was so shocked that a lot of their their people don't know how to cook like zero. And I love to cook, like, like eating delicious, yummy and healthy foods. Delicious and yummy is first and, and, and healthy. It's not healthy. And then like, kind of whatever, like not tasty. Delicious. That's a non-negotiable for me. I love my food from morning until evening. I just, I'm in awe of what I I'm making and I'm not a cookbook person. I'm like freestyling, winging it, like opening the fridge. My husband is even... <laughs> he's even crazier he puts the fry pan on the stove puts it on full power and I'm like what what are you making I don't know yet you know and then he goes into the fridge and and he's he's even quicker than than me but he's a chef he's a Japanese chef so <laughs> um yeah. yeah so my really my habit of eating greatly that's that's um that's a non-negotiable what I started and Brandon Bouchard is that's his fault or his his <laughs> win like eight hours of sleep is really my goal. I, I I get up early for a morning meditation in the Joy Academy. So sometimes when I decide to go out with friends, I just don't get my eight hours. But the difference is incredible. When do you sleep eight hours? I bet no, you that's actually something I want to bring in. I just talked about this with a coaching like group last week, but I want to sleep more because I I feel like I take naps in the day sometimes, not even a full yeah, nap. And, and you know, I don't need naps anymore. I did naps. And then uh, after the nap, I was like, oh, are you well, and you know, until I, I really was in work mode again, it was, oh, it took me ages. And if yeah. you really have these eight hours and Brenton is quite persuasive, persi <laughs> <healthy. laughs> persuades um yeah, yeah our, ourselves very very well like and and it's true like wow I'm more focused my brain is a different brain you know so that's that's but I was talking about it for about six years and then I finally said like come on can you just implement it now please and I have a a light um alarm you know that the one who I've, seen, I've heard of it yeah because, you know, I get up so early and then my husband snores and I have these customized earplugs, so I don't hear anything. So the light is so helpful. It's just like starting red. You can, you can set the sun, sunrise duration and the, you can set up everything. And then I really wake up with a red light if I'm not super tired. That's like the moment I wake up and then it's 
a kind of gentle and and um yeah quiet waking up I, I love that and then I have my lemon warm lemon water and I do the meditation with my clients and I enjoy the meditation myself and then you know like journaling you I, I watched your video I know you're real with the journaling I really need to go back to daily journaling I do so much writing so that it's kind of like oh another writing session but I really need to get back into the like what I describe in book, what do I want in this area and this and and write it into existence. Yeah. So journaling and also yoga or or some kind of movement in the morning. That's the two things I'm I'm not so consistent at the moment. And yeah. then I like tapping. Do you use tapping too? Yeah, I haven't done it in a long time, but um I love it. One time I got, I got, I was going to an event I was super excited about. And then I like the GPS that I, you've arrived and I was in a Costco parking lot and I was like, I am not, I haven't arrived. And I'm, almost, I'm like, you know, it's about to start. I want to be there. And so, and I called them and then they're like, oh yeah, we're right by the Starbucks. And so then there was a, a whole bunch of Starbucks around. And so I like, I was like, oh, so I just started tapping. I was like, you know, even though I'm like lost, like I deeply and clearly love myself and, you know, I'm going to find it. It's got to be here somewhere, you know, tapping it. And then it really calmed me down, but I haven't done it since then. Like that was like the last time, like a while ago, but it does really help me. Do you use it often? Like, is that a technique? Yeah. I, I really love Brad Yates. It's just an old white guy, but I think a really, 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 really nice one. And he has a video for every subject, you know, you can be, I, I, I use it when I'm like, really down you know like <laughs> <laughs> you can and he's so kind you know and then like um money i'm a money magnet i i create myself an amazing day um for pain for sorrows for anxiety for everything i think he has about a thousand videos on on youtube so good what is his last name bob what brad yates oh brad yates okay cool yes. Yeah, I love him and he does it for over 20 years so he you see him all the the changing glasses you know he has and the background is always messy but um but it changed too and yeah I think he's more wonderful now than 20 years ago just yeah but you see like the but it's 20 years ago it's not the 80s but like you see the change of clothes and everything it's quite funny. yeah all the style yeah, but oh, the, yeah. the the content, I, I really love that. So you like listening to Abraham Hicks in the morning when I do my makeup, it's like one Brad Yates per day. That would be ideal, you know, like. Yeah. And Denise Duffel Thomas tells uh, or, or puts it that way, like you have to brush your teeth daily. So just do EFT for your for your mental like hygiene, do some EFT every day and then your your nervous system is just set for for greatness love it i didn't know she was into that that's great yeah she really teaches that that, that was the first time i i heard about it i think i bought a book for um in german for for helping children and then a book and all these points and i was like ah, i can't remember that anyway so <laughs> i'm a i'm a video learning person so that's very helpful yeah me too you know what one of the things I really liked about your book I was just thinking yeah I'm definitely an audible person so I love the book and I love that you narrated it I love when the authors narrate it themselves I've had some books where they did it it just makes it so much more personal and then when you're telling the stories it's like you know I feel like you know I'm there with you and you even um, opened the book up with the story about um you're at 17, your friend that passed away. And I think that is, it really hits you, you know, like death really gives you a perspective on life. Cause I know when I was um, 18, my boyfriend um, was murdered. And so that was like my big, like, oh, I have chills all over. That's yeah. It's like, it just is like, oh my gosh, like, you know, like you're young and you know, you think you're going to live forever. And it's like, wow. So it's like, yeah, what do I, what do I want to do in this life? Or, you know? And then it's like, you know, then your friends are gone. And so then you're like, well, I want to even live bigger and happier and grander, you know, for them too, like, you know, in some sense. <laughs> and so, yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. I, I just really loved like the personal touch you put to your book and like the stories that you're like, why you, cause sometimes you're like, oh yeah, easy for you to say, you're always happy, but it's like, you know, it wasn't always like that. And this is the journey and you take us through the journey of, you know, what it was like and, you know, when it happened and, 
the tools that, you know, got you to be so joyful now and an entrepreneur and, you know, having an academy and coaching and a book. And so, yeah, all these really great accomplishments that, you know, people, they want to do, but they don't really have a structure, I think, of how to do it. They just have these big dreams and they're always dreams that they don't actually like put into action and work towards. And I think having like, you know, like Brendan always like bring the joy, but when you bring the joy into everything you do and you have this mission bigger than yourself and you're just walking in that, that purpose with joy, you know, that's how you get it done, right? So. Yeah, and Brandon always says, bring the joy. And I think that's nice, but I like to say, create the joy because bring it, it's like, yeah, and where is it, please? Where can I buy it or where can I get it? And creating it from, from within, that makes you so independent. And, and I mean, hopefully you are not surrounded by bad people and bad circumstances, but even there, even it's hard, but and I don't know if I would be good at that, you know, in really hard circumstances. I don't know if you saw the, the, the movie Bella Vita, a heartbreaking movie where a father is talking to his kid in, in the Second World War. You know, they, they got killed in the end, I think, or he, the father got killed in this, um, what the, in the gas chambers. But, but like the whole movie is kind of light because the father just keeps, keeps the mood light for his son. I don't know how how much you know like yeah that that you yeah uses him to 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 provide that for him but everywhere where you are if you find out what you want and go for it in little steps or big leaps it creates joy for you and then maybe you say like you and you are not in my life anymore like I can't deal with you anymore I'm so sorry and yeah that's a decluttering not, it's not a whole chapter but like maybe you have to declutter some people like people who like you better when you're sad or small or or not doing anything they keep you they hold you so much back that it's just not yeah. helpful and it, I don't mean to just kick out people randomly out of your life but you feel it I I had one friend we were hanging out and then I Every time I was feeling so low afterwards, I just told him like, we, we can't see each other again. Like you're criticizing every move I do. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's over, so even though it was not my boyfriend, you know, it was a friend of many yeah. years, but I realized that's not going to work anymore. I'm not available for that. You know, it's so important because I wasn't doing this vision board, like event. I went and we were on little groups and we were talking about our friends and I was like, um, I was like, no, I've, I've like, you know, basically let go of anyone that, that's not helping, you know, my, you know, my life be better or, you know, more enjoyable. And so then the girls in the table, they were like laughing they're like, oh, and like, well, you know, laughing, like it was like an uncomfortable thing I said, but I think it's so important. And, and people think, oh, I sh you know, maybe that's not the right thing to do, or it's not the kind thing to do, but it's really being kind to yourself. And then, you know, when you are in this, like, higher, you know, energy space, then you're bringing that to your friends and family versus like, you're hanging out with someone that drains you. And now you guys are both kind of drained, or maybe they got a little bit, you know, lifted up from sucking your energy out. But like, you know, otherwise it's just like, it's just a negative, you know, like space for everybody. And then you bring it to your home and your community and your clients. So yeah, and I think it's a huge, huge, huge thing. Like you don't have to hang out with anybody that's not, uh, that you don't want to, and you do anything you don't want to, right? That's a lot of the joy. Like we get to create it and I like it you know, instead of bringing it, because yeah, some people, they don't even know where it is, right? And so, yeah. Creative. You know that meme of a little, it's a, it's a very, um, a very simple drawing where, where a little person is carrying a jar with uh, happiness in it, and then somebody else approaches this, this little person and, and says, where do you have that? I created it myself. I love that so much. I, love it. That's I don't know who, who it went around. It went viral on, on social media. That's and, adorable. And I, I created my, it myself. I think that's so empowering. And then you can give it away freely, you know, the joy, because you know how to create it and you don't have to suck joy away from anybody else. You are even in your family, you know, if, or in a, in a, in a partnership, if you think like he doesn't make me happy, that's just not how it works, but that's how everybody, like my second half, my other half, I, I'm like, no, I'm not half. I'm full. I'm a full person. And my yeah. husband is a full person. And together we create amazing, an amazing family and amazing 
living space but we are so independent i i but i think yeah sometimes i'm too extreme in that for the normal society thinking kind of you know like yeah are you even spending time together yeah we do but maybe not at the wedding party because he doesn't like that and then he's like i'm not coming not just because i'm your husband i have to go somewhere where i don't want to so yeah and i learned a lot from him i mean we're together for 20 years now and and um in the beginning when he came over to switzerland we met in japan he um he first joined me for all these wedding parties and then we got married quite quickly that he could stay in switzerland so after that everybody started to get married and he was like telling me i won't join you at these boring parties anymore <laughs> and we won't have a big wedding party never ever or you can you can do it on your own i go fishing <laughs> <laughs> so i never had my princess um wedding party but that's okay i had my 40th birthday i i celebrated quite gorgeously so that was kind of my my um so getting getting the the gorgeous party instead of the wedding yeah that's good yeah relationships are a whole new thing but um yeah another way to bring joy i think we learned so much in relationships it's, it's really great um so anyways i know that we're getting close to time so um yeah is there anything else you wanted well definitely where can we find your book because um i love this book it's like you know people spend so much money on coaching this is the best way to start and to get such a great foundation for you know finding happiness and not finding it creating it right <laughs> so yeah yes, where, where yes do you find it? is there anything else yeah, you it's, want to it's on amazon but you know you could help me and go to your barnes and nobles and and tell them about the book that you're looking for this book because i i'm printing it at kdp and that's an international um printing service and and it's good it's like made for book stores so um it's not amazon it's for private private persons purchasing books and kdp is for really like bookstores so if you go to your barnes and nobles i mean i sit in switzerland and <laughs> and i would be thrilled to know that you um you made it possible that that they order it but um yeah you can get it on amazon and um if you leave a review there i'm super thankful an honest review whatever you think i hope you like it though oh definitely and is there any closing um note that you want to leave everyone on about creating joy yeah it's really i think as you take care of yourself you can afford to be kind to to yourself first you know the negative self-talk i talk about that too in the book and be kind to yourself and then you can be kind to like everybody you meet you know every person you bump into or in the in the grocery store or and then the the, the kindness just the, the ripple effects are taking place and i think taking care of yourself and really bringing joy in your life and doing what you want that changes the whole world because your your actions are having an impact on on everybody you meet if it's in your home or wherever you go in the bus on even on the highway not talking to the car next next to you like kindness is 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 just a ripple effect which is so needed in our world yeah awesome well thank you for your book thank you for your time today and definitely thank you Carrie, for your support. oh i loved it yeah no i love i just i'm so inspired by you i I, told, I think i told you yeah i have a book i want to get out and i haven't yet but this was so inspiring and i loved your book and you know not trying to be perfect or keep going over the first chapter but um yeah i i am super inspired and i love the work you're doing so i'm so glad I decided to just share it with the world thank you so much <laughs> all right everyone we'll definitely um follow ronja get her book and um yeah if you have any questions for either one of us send us a message on facebook or instagram yeah and my website is joyismycompass.com you can find everything there that's easy awesome okay. see you later bye, bye. <laughs> see ya